Okay everybody, this is System Error 51 here again today and uh, this video should be a quick uh, addendum to the video I made with uh, uh, Blender yeah, where I explained how to uh, edit videos with, with Blender and um, it turns out that um, there are some issues um, especially uh, in terms of performance and I want to show you two things here that uh, may help you uh, when you are trying to edit a video yeah so uh, the first thing I notice is that it helps if you delete all the objects in in the scene that you get when you open Blender yeah because otherwise it will try to render uh, whatever is here which we don't necessarily want so uh, remove these then you go into your video editing I'm going to uh, quickly replicate my setup here that I did in the video. Um, you have your file browser and um, I think I put the properties for the video editing here. That's right. And um, usually what you wh what I what I've shown uh, in uh, in the video is that you need to uh, set a few things here. You know, like uh, you want to do 720p, for example. Frame rate is say let's twenty let's say twenty five, um, and there are a few other things here that um, you usually kind of want to set. I display is kind of keep UI um, because then it will render in the background. That's what I li like to do. Uh, then you select your output folder here um, and to what codec you want to render to. I choose Xvid or H two six four, which for some reason now works. I think in the older version it didn't, so H.264 or Xvid, whatever you like. Um, you say encoding, um, presets, H.264 and you do all the bajizzle that I showed you in the other video here. Um, but w the moment you hit animation you may notice that um, the rendering that you can see up there is going very slow for some reason. And uh, this is because there are some other switches you can turn off. Yeah. Um, so, for example, uh, there are a few things that you really don't need, yeah. Uh, and we are looking at shading, and we can turn off everything here: textures, uh, uh, texture shadows, subsurface scattering, environment map, and most importantly, ray tracing. Yeah, because if you enable ray tracing on a two-dimensional surface here, um, that may have a very strange effect because it will try to ray trace each and every single pixel that's in, in every video frame and by turning this off you will see a 90% increase in speed performance. Yeah, so that we are clear on that. Um, another thing that may help you on in, in some cases is if you fiddle around with these settings here. Um, you can you can let Blender decide how many rendering threads you want, or you can define the number yourself, if that's what you like to do. Uh, you can turn these on and off. Um, I didn't necessarily see any increase. The tile size uh, may sometimes help to reduce this number. By default, it does 64 apparently. Um, for some people, it works better with the 32. Yeah, um, and that's really it for for that part yeah so if you turn off all these things then um you will see that the bar for rendering is going a bit faster than uh than before yeah uh so that that's that's the one thing i wanted to tell you and another thing is that uh for the people out there that uh, use amd cards radeon um uh, you may notice that even in the 3D view um, there is a problem and uh, if you go to a scene and try to render it out you will see that it's like terribly slow and probably your grandma is faster on a skateboard delivering the milk to you. Yeah, which is not really something um, that... I mean, unless you got something else to do and you can let the machine run in the background, that's... that's f fine too. If you go to file, uh, user preferences and you say system, um, for like for me I have a Radeon card it will say compute device none CPU. Yeah so every every uh, everything that happens in terms of rendering is, is going through the CPU and um, uh, that means that the CPU has to do it all at once for which the CPU really isn't designed. 
yeah so uh, obviously you want to have some kind of hardware acceleration going on yeah but uh, apparently blender doesn't let you do it um, if you have a radeon card um, like you know let's leave this open here um, see I've got a catalyst control center here and I've got the current uh, version that's out there and I will show you how to enable some kind of hardware acceleration because you will probably want that and the first step you uh, you will have to do is that you go to I, I'm going to open a new window here uh, the first thing that you want to do is that you go to AMD's page uh, I'm gonna say AMD drivers you can google for that I use startpage.com because it's more private and I have a custom search engine skin so don't think too much about it so you go here and you select whatever you want or need uh, that would be desktop graphics uh, then Radeon HD for me um, and I've got a 7770 series PCI HD and uh, depending on what operating system you're on you choose that and also the uh, architecture 32 or 64 um, for some reason AMD hasn't posted anything for Windows 8.1 yeah but it's already in the list and I have Windows 8.1 which is fairly weird but y you can do any selection here and select Windows 8.1 and for some it just does it doesn't come up with you get an empty list so for me it would be Windows 8 64 display results and uh, here you will see there are two options you you can choose from yeah and one of them would be I'm gonna minimize that here and one of them would be the normal catalyst suite which is uh, version 13.9 and uh, the latest uh, better driver is 13.11 or 13.11 yeah this is the first driver you need okay and I installed that and um, for some reason for me it says 13.10 um, which which is weird um, but uh, this is the first thing you need okay another thing you will also require is the um, OpenCL SDL kit yeah so if we go uh, AMD uh, OpenCL I think that's what I look for um, you get the OpenCL zone from AMD okay which is a, a web page that uh, gives you a lot of information and things you don't really need uh, I kind of uh, tools and SDKs maybe it was here uh, let me check real quick because there is uh, the, uh, hang on and the OpenCL there was a page that um, maybe it was here that uh, where I downloaded the uh, driver from Mm, boom, 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 boom. Um, <laughs> that, this is an interesting question maybe it was here if I can find it now I will definitely oh hang on I think it was here AMD app SDK yes this is the page I'm going to post this link in the description of the uh, of the video because you will need um, first of all you will need um, the uh, AMD drivers that I just shown you and you will also need this SDK and uh, once again you will require the uh, correct architecture and in this case it would probably be uh, for me it would be Windows 8 64 bit so uh, it would be this one here or if you go if you have 32 bit then you choose this one install this as well and uh, it may be necessary to uh, reboot your computer after you uh, installed this uh, crazy nonsense here which is required and I don't know why um, then after you reboot it because uh, I already did that I already did this so I don't have to pause the video um, then you can sort of uh, close th close all of this all of this nonsense here uh, also close blender and what that uh, what there's something very important that you have to do because if you install this all of this the beta driver and the SDK and then you run blender um, you will notice that uh, even though you installed everything that is required um, uh, b for some reason blender decides not to let you have your cake yeah so it will still land you on the CPU for some reason which is really funky to say the very least it I think um, I think blender works better with Nvidia graphic cards 
yeah um so what i discovered is that you have to put a environment variable yeah and it's best if you i i increase the font so you can read better and that's saber by the way if you don't know her fade zero watch it it's good um you have to open a command prompt and then uh ideally you navigate to the folder inside which a blender is installed in yeah and the uh, uh environment variable you have to set is this one here set cycles underscore open cl underscore test equals all you put uh, you I, I i'm gonna put this in this in the description as well like this call here and then from the command line you launch blender from the directory blender is uh installed in yeah blender um which also has the bonus side effect of it, it will t it will give you a lot of interesting information for rendering and stuff um yeah so then what happens is that when you go into user preferences and you go into system and you will see that another op uh, th another option has opened up for you the golden open cl door is now finally available to you and you now have two options here yeah uh into the core uh, or whatever machine or whatever it, it you know it, this may be different depending on what kind of hardware setup you have yeah but i i found that if you set set it to this to the to the first one here your chip and whatever the name is here uh it, you will notice quite some boost in rendering times yeah um this is uh, for me on on radiant cards this is the only way i found to do it and i think uh this is very interesting information for you yeah so i'm going to put all of this in the description and uh this is how to enable oh, a, 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 at least enable opencl on a blender with a radium cards which will give you a significant increase in uh, rendering performance uh, be it with uh, 3d like as you can see here or uh, 2d video editing yeah um i hope that helps and uh, i'll see you again very soon bye bye